My name is Brandon Anderson, and I'm the Executive Director and CEO of the Auburn Gore Duesenberg Automobile Museum in Auburn, Indiana. And today we're here with our 1921 Duesenberg Model A Straight 8 Coupe. This car is incredibly rare. There is no Duesenberg that has been owned by the same family from the original owner for approximately 100 years. This is the only one and it was recently donated to the museum from the Castle family. This car is in absolutely stunning condition. The family, they decided that they wanted to do a major restoration on this vehicle to bring it back to its original appearance as it was delivered to Samuel Northrop Castle in 1921 in Hawaii. The engine on here is is a Duesenberg straight eight created by the Duesenberg brothers. This was the first passenger vehicle to basically have a racing engine in it with 260 cubic inches and 88 horsepower. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Duesenberg started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, there's a pull choke here labeled start. Then I'm going to flip the battery on which also turns on the electric gas pump. We have our spark advance here on the wheel as well. So I have it all the way up push in the clutch, flip the ignition switch to be on, and then the starter for this is right above the gas pedal. So I'm using my right foot, the tip of my foot to hit the button to start it, and then the back of my foot and my heel to push on the gas so that they all work in tandem. At this point, we are now ready to start her. Keep giving it a little bit more gas, make sure that it's comfortable. Normally I would let it sit for a little while just to make sure that it's warmed up and that it's comfortable and ready to go. But since we've been driving it today, uh, she's she's pretty good to go. I might just give it a, get, a little bit of gas, get it pumping. And it's got an interesting gas gauge that's called a flow meter. And I can see all the bubbles flowing through it, so I know gas is getting through. So we're gonna go ahead and go get out on the track. So the visibility is pretty good on the sides. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna double clutch here. So push in the clutch. Get it into neutral, push the clutch in again, slide that into second gear. And that was a nice smooth transition. Again, uh, the double clutching can be a lot of fun, uh, and some days it's your friend and some days it's not. The steering on this car is incredibly nimble and light. So uh, part of that is you have a racing engine in a light coupe vehicle, so you've got a lot of power and you've got a lot of push from the rear wheel drive. So amazingly, uh, driving, it almost feels like this car has power steering, which isn't obviously the case. Oh. So this was the first passenger vehicle in the United States that was sold uh, with four wheel hydraulic brakes, uh, all thanks to the inventions and patents of the Duesenberg brothers, particularly Fred Duesenberg. It, it is a complete honor and a privilege to be able to drive these vehicles. Getting these vehicles out, uh, that is part of their preservation. They should not just sit inside a museum and never be uh, made to run again. It is in their best interest to run. These cars were made to run. So there is an exhaust cutout where you can basically bypass uh, the exhaust and give it a, a really loud growl and a really racing feeling. So there's a lever here on the floor that I'm gonna to rotate to the right and you'll be able to hear the change. So it's much louder. I feel like I'm, I'm actually racing on the track. Um, and it's got a very unique sound. You would definitely hear this coming down the road. And the thought was that this gave you a little bit more speed uh, by bypassing. Um, and now, that could be possible, but I'll tell you, it just sounds like it's faster to me. Okay. That's what it is like to drive the Castle Duesenberg. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, click like and subscribe for more content on America's rich automotive history, the preservation of vintage cars, and the amazing people behind them.